We just arrived in beautiful Durango, Colorado. No better way to welcome ourselves to the area than to go on a hike. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? The trail we are taking is Sailing Hawk Loop. And I found this great guide that's supposed to tell us as we're walking along the trail if we're going in the right way because I've heard it's not well marked. <laughs> we just started and we already hit our first detour. Wow, sunny day, mid 70s in November. <laughs> Cannot let this go to waste. No, we're really lucky. New school, old school. Off-roading has its price. Thing is brutal. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> I'll leave you here. She looks like a lieutenant. She definitely looks like a lieutenant. As a kid, this was my dream. I would come out here and camp. Now I'm gonna go to the other side and see what it looks like. Brush. <laughs> I must have been another lieutenant around here somewhere. Well, yet again, you get an A plus for trail selection. I could not imagine a more beautiful way to spend a day up here. 70 degrees, it's November, we're between seven and 8,000 feet. The app that I found was pretty, pretty cool. It tells you all of the trails around your area and you can put in some filters whether you want, whether you want difficult, easy. It is called All Trails. You have to get the paid version to download maps. Clearly we're not using that one because you know, we're cheap. And it was our first time using it too, so. There you go, but good, good one. Thank you, dude. The best thing after a long hike. We're exploring Durango and I've got a list. much for the museum. <laughs> benches everywhere. Well, for all our talk about how the bad weather and the smoke follows us everywhere, we cannot complain a bit right now. It's like 72 degrees in November in Colorado, walking through these gorgeous mountains in a shirt. <laughs> and sweating. <laughs> One of us is. <laughs> we could not have dreamed of having more beautiful weather to explore this part of the country. No. Wow.
careful. supposed to be really cool but it's only during the summer months and even though it's 70 it's November <laughs> Oh, this place is cool. Oh, lots of choices. I picked this place because when I said cheap but good eats, it was number one on the list. Well, if that's my salad, this is going to be a good experience. <laughs> Look at the size of our cinnamon roll. They didn't say anything about the size. I think they should have mentioned the size. <laughs> we put it on the table and the table actually shook. That's for her. Thank you, cheese. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Hatch chilies, melted cheese. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. With bacon and hatch chilies and cheese. This is really good. We'll tell you how it was after. Lunch was really good. It was. Boy, you know, when the lady that owns the diner looks at you and says, I hope you're hungry, you know you're in for trouble. <laughs> I was in trouble. <laughs> That was a lot of food. It was a really cute diner. I really liked the decor. They had like a train track going around up on the top. Staff was really nice. Food was great. Definitely recommend Oscars. And that like that giant salad was ten dollars. Yep. So definitely good budget eats. Good job, Kate. Well, thank you. Now we're walking around downtown Durango. Really nice, walkable little downtown area. Great mix of shops and cafes. Durango's going up on the list. Yeah. It's a nice little town. What's that in your hand? Oh, my cinnamon roll. <laughs> this is a Strata Hotel and it was built in 1800s. John F. Kennedy and Gerald Ford stayed here. Louis L'Amour wrote some of his books here. He was my favorite author growing up. the Strader Hotel. I was wrong the first three times. <laughs> the front desk gave us the whole history. Here's your fun fact for today. The term lobbying comes from days when citizens would meet their congressmen and senators in the lobbies of these grand hotels. What a fascinating history. That was really cool. Next on the list is chocolate. We already love this place. As soon as you walk in, they gave us free hot chocolate. And it's good Mexican hot chocolate. These truffles are opulent. They're beautiful. Handcrafted 
truffles containing no preservatives and you have to eat them within two weeks. So this is the dark chocolate salted caramel. That's really good. A little bit of salt in it. The caramel is really chewy. Has just the right caramel flavor. It's really good chocolate. And we have a coffee coming up from that nice lady right over there. <laughs> Let's go a cup of coffee. We are a, a chocolate and coffee shop. We make all of our chocolates in the kitchen that maybe you'll see back there. We make a lot of our chocolate from the cacao bean itself. So we roast it, grind it, melange it, um, and then make it into chocolate bars. That and is then, so cool. Yeah. And then we do fun coffee drinks. Well, we're glad we found you. Yeah. Thank you. Go dog! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That was an absolute winner. Where to next, tour guide extraordinaire? Back to take a nap. Katie's looking for nap time. We gotta go. I'll mask you up. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>